Hello, today we are discussing this IITJ trigonometry problem. The question is the value of cos 2 pi over 7 plus cos 4 pi over 7 plus cos 6 pi over 7 is equal to and we are given with four options and it is a single answer correct question. Okay, so there are a number of ways to solve this question like one of them by using cos c plus cos d formula but i'll not be using that in here so here i am taking a different approach to solve this question by using complex numbers when i say complex numbers specifically i am referring to the euler's form euler's form of a complex number so euler's form of a complex number is that a complex number can be written as e to the power i theta which is basically nothing but cos theta plus i sine theta and in the same manner i can write e to the power negative i theta which will change the theta part here and it will become cos theta minus i sine theta and the reason being cos of negative theta is cos theta and sine of negative theta is negative sine theta. Okay, and let's say if we go ahead and add these two, what do we get? We get e to the power i theta plus e to the power negative i theta is equal to two times cos theta or I can say take this two and divide it on the other side so we get cos theta so by this if I write my given expression it will change to okay the given expression first is cos 2 pi over 7 plus cos 4 pi over 7 plus cos 6 pi over 7 so by using this concept I can write each of these cos terms as e to the power i 2 pi over 7 plus e to the power minus i 2 pi over 7 right plus e to the power i 4 pi over 7 and then again plus e to the power negative i 4 pi over 7 plus e to the power i 6 pi over 7 and plus e to the power negative i 6 pi over 7 and everything is divided by 2 so I can say divide the whole thing by 2 okay perfect now let's go ahead and discuss another formula before we proceed further another formula that we can look at is that we know that cube roots of a unity Right. That's a common concept for IITJ that if you have any equation x cube equals 1 then you have 1 plus omega plus omega square is equal to 0 or we can say that the sum of roots right sum of roots is 0 right and if we look at this equation that we got now that's basically nothing but e to the power 2 pi over 7 plus e to the power i okay in the same manner if you have any equation with power n x to the power n equals 1 you can say 1 plus the first root if I call it as omega the second root which I call it as omega square and so on up to omega is the power n minus 1 will be equal to 0 so by using this concept in here the equation that we have let's write rewrite it so we have e to the power i 2 pi over 7 plus e to the power i 4 pi over 7 plus e to the power i 6 pi over 7 plus e to the power i negative 
i to the pi over 7 plus e to the power negative i 4 pi over 7 plus e to the power negative i 6 pi over 7 but we are missing with this 1 so I can say add 1 and subtract 1 to it so by adding 1 and subtracting 1 we can write this expression as plus 1 minus 1 so plus 1 minus 1 and this is divided by 2 so this last part here gives me the sum of roots of which equation x to the power 7 equals 1 and sum of roots according to this formula here is 0 so what do we get negative 1 plus 0 over 2 or we get negative half and if we look at the options that's option d i hope this video helped you thank you